Hello students, welcome to Study Sucker's question and answer videos. My name is Shibadrita and I teach maths and science at Study Sucker. So, let's have a look at this very interesting question from class 8 ICSE concise book chapter Force and Pressure back exercise question number 13. The question says the figure shows a brick of weight 2 kg force in dimen and dimensions 20 cm into 10 cm into 5 cm placed in three different positions on the ground. Find the pressure exerted by the brick in each case. Now here in the diagrams we can see the three types of positions in which the brick can be placed. In first position we can see that this part is the base which is same as the top. So for this position the area of the brick will be the length and length into breadth of the base and here the length of the base base is 20 cm and the breadth of the base is 10 cm since this top is same as the base so 10 cm is the breadth and 20 cm is the length so we will solve this problem taking cases in case 1 we will take position 1 so let's move to the solution for position 1 What are given to us? First we know that magnitude of force F is equals to 2 kg force. Then we know that the area, so the length and breadth of this of the base in this position is 20 into 10 centimeter this is the area so area of the base a is equals to 20 centimeter into 10 centimeter which is equals to 200 centimeter square now we know pressure P equals to magnitude of force F divided by area of the base A. Now we have pressure P equals to 2 kg force divided by 200 centimeter square. So this 2 and this is 100. So, this is 1 by 100 kg force per centimeter square or which can be also written as 0 0.01 kg force per centimeter square. Now, let's move to case 2. In case 2, we see that this portion is the base of the block which is exerting the pressure on the ground. So, since this is the base, this is the top, both are same. So, their area is also same. From here, we can see that the length of the top, to, length of the base is 10 cm and the breadth of the base is 5 cm. This is 10 and this is 5. So, area of the base will be length into breadth that is 10 cm into 5 cm. This is for position 2 of the block. So, in case 2 we have for position 2. We are given magnitude of force. F which is again 2 kg F and area of base 
a equals to 10 centimeter into 5 centimeter because this is the length and this is the breadth so length into breadth is the area of the base this is equals to 50 centimeter square now again we know pressure P equals to magnitude of force F by area of base A. So P equals to 2 kg force by 50 centimeter square. Now this can also be written as 4 by 100 4 kg force by 100 centimeter square because 2 into 2 4 then 15 to 2 is 100 this can be written as 0 0.04 kg force per centimeter square this was for position 2 we see that the amount of force that is the magnitude of force for all positions remains same what changes is only the area of the base on which it acts in position 3 we can see that the length of the base is 20 centimeters and the breadth of the base is 5 centimeter this is 5 centimeter this is 20 centimeter so the area of the base here will be 20 centimeter length into 5 centimeter breadth so our next case will be for position 3 position 3 we are again given magnitude of force F equals to 2 kgf and area of base is A equals to here we see 20 centimeter into 5 centimeter 20 centimeter into 5 centimeter which is equals to 100 centimeter square so once again we know pressure P is equals to magnitude of force magnitude of force F by area of base A so pressure P equals to 2 kg F divided by 100 centimeter square which is also equals to 0 0.02 kg force per centimeter square so this is our final answer this all these three are our final answers for position one our final answer is 0 0.01 kg force per centimeter square for position two our final answer is 0 0.04 kg force per centimeter square and for position three our final answer is 0 0.02 kg force per centimeter square. So students, that's all for this video. All my solution PDFs as well as my video classes are available on Study Suckers website in study notes and solution section. Link in description. Do like this video and subscribe our channel and don't forget to send this to your classmates. Thank you.